Hey guys, so we've got an image sent in from Salt in our hair. We'll take a look at their Instagram, talk about the sort of things they might do to their image to achieve their style. Straight over to their Instagram, and they have sent me this raw image to do this tutorial, show you guys what they do to their images. So obviously nice and bright to get that vibrant travel feel. And then there's plenty of warmth in the shadows. We'll probably do that by adding like an orange or a yellow into the shadows and then really bring out those blues. Those greens are very orange. There isn't too much fade to their images. It's kind of natural fade. Play around with the tone curve a little bit. And then as for sharpening, they have quite a natural look to their image. So not too much sharpening. Kind of looks like a hint of clarity sometimes maybe. No shadows actually gives off that kind of crispy look to your image and lucky for you guys they sell their presets up here so i'll put their links down in the description give them a follow down there let them know you found them through this tutorial and then i'll also be linking up their presets so you guys can check out so they offer desktop and mobile presets so linking these up guys if you want to come over and take a look yourselves all right so getting into this edit let's look at the settings so 18 millimeters nice and wide but if I just show you the cropping, so we've zoomed in there, straighten the horizon, put more of a focus onto our subjects, nice and wide to capture it all, 2.8, so it's gonna have a little bit of a soft background, really quick shutter speed because it's nice and bright, and then ISO low because it is nice and bright. Okay, so let's brighten this up. We want nice warm vibes, maybe some shadows for those nice warm vibes. Now I'll come in and I'll show you the curves. So if I correct it, so I just put one of my curve presets on and what that will do is create an equal S curve in the red, green and blue channels. So in this one, it's gonna give us a fade to those blacks. So if you look in the rock there, if you look up in here, there's some dark shades up there. You just watch that shine that comes in and see that little bit of shine. You can definitely see it over in the image. So that's what I was thinking about for that. And the color channels, just adding in contrast because they're exactly the same. And they don't have any strong fades going on except for in those blacks. So that's why I've sort of just done a normal S curve. And then this one is sort of just, uh, I tweaked it around. It's pretty straight. So we just end up with a pretty normal S curve. That's about it for that one. Uh, they don't have a fade to their whites. Lots of people put a fade to their whites or highlights. We want to keep that pop. So we left the white point up. So up here, let's expose it a bit better. Let's drop the contrast. Now I'll drop the highlights and a dead giveaway for me to do that is the clouds. You can see how they look. They're kind of like fluffy. You can't see the detail. And then when we drop the highlights, you can really see like each little bit. So that was sort of a giveaway. Uh, whites then blacks. And then let's just quickly do the color while we're here. Let's create a punch. Okay, we're about good. I might just knock down a lot of saturation here actually just bump it up here okay before we do any hsl we'll do split toning because that affects a large amount of our colors so down here in the split toning you can tell that we're like quite cold definitely need way more warm vibes so in the shadows let's pick a nice orange and let's bring that up quite a bit now we get that nice orange we get a bit of purple up in the sky and that Let's put some blue in there. Look a little too green. So when you look too green, I'm gonna go the opposite way of green. So green's over here. Let's go the opposite way of green until we find a color we like. Kind of like that. I'll change the hue of the blues so they were not so purple back there. All right, balance. So I might introduce a bit more of the shadows into the image that uh sharpening while we're here and they have a very natural look to the images this is a screenshot so it's going to come off a little soft but you can still see like the crispiness that was baked in so we'll do that and i wasn't going to touch enable profile corrections okay so up here in the hsl let's just give those blues a bit more of a teal you can see we've gone for that real uh aqua look and then just the hues so skin tone as uh, shorts probably the biggest indicator of what to do with the reds um well the oranges we want to go this way let's go with that reds come off a little too red i think let's just go this way 
That looks good. Yellows. So just looking at the areas that are yellow, I think we need to go this direction and looking at the top and then looking at the sand. We'll go this direction. Okay, so saturation, just doing this to see where it's affecting and then matching it up. Yellows. Greens. You can pretty much take them right out. There's not a lot of greens left up there. We'll keep them low. Aquas, we all know bring the aquas out. So I'm actually gonna bring them up quite a bit. Blues. And I usually just bring purple magenta down roughly. Very rarely there's uh, purple magenta in the image, but just keep them roughly down. And then we want to do the typical beachy vibes. So let's drop the luminance of our subjects for the skin tone. And then let's bring up the yellows for that pop. Now watch what this does. Creates that really warm vibe to the image. The sand and like the edges of everything has a little bit of yellow in it because that's like what the sun's doing. So it makes everything pop. And then we could do that with the greens. There's not much up there. There's a bit of green in the water there and we definitely want our water to look real nice, bright and vibrant. So we'll just, we'll do that. And then aqua. So you can see how our water looks so vibrant. Bring up luminance of that, get that real pop. Okay, looking good. We're going to come in with some filters and stuff now. So the obvious one is this one down the bottom here. And what we're going to do is let's really bring up exposure. And yeah, you can see how we've made that sand really white. And that's also something I'd think about a lot. I think I sort of went over it before, but especially after making it bright, I want to make sure it's kind of white. So if you put blue you can see how it sort of is a bit too blue or green yeah definitely how i judged the highlights there just trying to make the sand look very pure and white okay back up to filters we just want one smack bang in the middle here bringing out our subjects so let's just go contrast go with that and then if i just press o shows where it's affecting okay and then brushes we want to just make the water look a bit more inviting so bringing out the colors especially so let's just drop the temperature they'll add in a nice blue see what that's doing and i'll just press o so that's where it's affecting and then bump up saturation as well okay got another one here on our subject just pressing O, it's just affecting their faces and then we're bringing out her hair as well. So let's bump this up. And we've got one more over here. So the camera has struggled to capture the greens way back there, probably because the haze has to shoot through. So all those trees and stuff are quite blue. So what we'll do just to bring the color back out of it, or well, we could warm it up and that will take those blues out. And then it's still very hazy. So let's drop the exposure maybe, or even better, dehaze it a lot. And then maybe just take out a bit of saturation. Okay, this looks a little different. I'm not sure what they did. They probably took their time a lot more. Brush the bottom there. So in case I didn't show you, that's where that filter's affecting. And yeah, that's it for this edit. As you can see, no grain, uh, low amount of sharpening, keeping it kind of natural, no clarity. And then maybe one of the biggest things is the split toning, like uh, putting that much warmth in the shadows, like those rocks to begin with, if we just reset it. Very blue, they don't have uh, much warmth to them at all. And now we've really put that warmth in and we've made our highlights close to white, which really makes that white water or white sand really pop out and look nice. And yeah, really brought out the aquas, decent fade to the blacks there. You could see we could maybe do with more shadows up there. So like you'd play around with this. But I think we're good. I think we're pretty close. Like you can see how we got a bit closer there. Shadows would bring that back in. But I'm pretty happy with that. We're pretty close. I'll keep it there. There's our before and after. Okay guys, so down in the description, sign up 
for the free training and we're going to go over one tip one thing you need to know to start to emulate or get the style you want so yeah a lot of you guys want more videos from me but i'm working really hard on my course these days and i think that's where i can provide more value more raw images guest editors and stuff like that because the amount of value i can give through youtube is kind of limited so i wanted to create this ultimate resource for photo editing it's going to be really exciting over the next few years on how big we can make this course how much value we can put into it so if you guys want to get started on nailing the style you want sign up down below but also comment down in the description guys on who you want to see on this channel try to comment people with not many followers that way they'll be more than happy to send in an image that really helps me because then i read all your guys comments and then i reach out to them on instagram ask them to be part of my youtube and part of my course thanks for watching guys really appreciate all your guys comments and likes and support and yeah catch you in the next one